Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the dot OS 3.0 Pi version for our Galaxy JSN 2016. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, guys, firstly, let's go into the settings and do about phone. Let's take a look at the version. As you can see, this is the Android version 9 and dot OS version 3.01 official with the 5 March 2019 security patch. So, it still has the old security patch, like maybe this is not a new build of course so old batch then we have here you can see oxygen kernel which is really important to flash to boot this rom and please guys watch this video till the end if you want to boot dot os on your galaxy jason 2016 because the installation has some some extra files so you have to flash that in order to boot your device now guys let's take a look at the launcher and it comes with the quick step customizable launcher as you can see we have this home screen settings the grid layout into the icons, we have these icons, add icon to home screen, icon layout stuff. Into app drawer, we have app labels and hide apps. Into recents, we have custom recent rounded corners. So, as you can see, we have three one default rounded and OP style. So, this is how the rounded looks. This is how the rounded looks, a squarely rounded, and the one plus style, it's fully rounded. So, this is how it looks, and I guess the styles doesn't even. Uh, uh, like it doesn't even apply I guess because I set it to default it's same so I guess this is not working the custom recent styles I don't know but yeah the oneplus are uh, fully rounded then clear all from recent as you can see if I have opened uh, multiple apps then you can just drop it down and all of the apps will be out of the recent uh, so that's really awesome also, if you guys take a look at the app drawer, we have new icons to the like the apps, you can see files, we have the dot paper equalizer, browser, calculator, contacts, messaging, phone, and settings also create also gallery and music has a different materialistic icon. As you can see guys, into the settings app, the settings UI looks really really nice. As you can see, even if you scroll this part, the settings and this owner info stays there, also the search and settings stays there. So this is a new kind of layout to the settings bar then we just move into the dot extras we have here miscellaneous extras okay so the device just restarts the system ui but we still get entry into it so we have this 4g icon stuff volte icon like this is the word other like json 2016 users get triggered volte doesn't work guys it's please just don't try and it doesn't work on all of the samsung devices with aosb rom so yeah and this is the dot eyes icon so it looks really nice so as you can see and we have battery styles so we can set circle dotted circle this is how the dotted circle looks also you can send it next to the bad percent icon next to the battery icon or inside it then we have battery bar clock customization as you can see a lot of things font and style up there network traffic indicator i don't like so i will just disable you can please enable it then we have status bar items and you can enable what status bar items you want so yeah that's on you going back we have navigation bar into navigation bar you can enable the nav bar as you can see we get this new nav bar on the screen not on the hardware keys but as you can see even if you have enabled it, the hardware keys work so this is one insane thing like there should be an option enable navigation bar and disable hardware keys not in here so no nav bar i guess required for this rom then we move into quick settings we have this quick setting stuff you can see all of this quick setting stuff then we move into recents recents you can see pi and oreo now oops i i think got out then we have lock screen stuff we into lock screen ui we have these of the customization lock screen charging info face auto unlock fingerprint unlock is also present but we don't have fingerprint so yeah like fingerprint unlock after the after reboot then lock screen shortcuts you can just use the tuner and add shortcuts here like dialer and camera which are, which are the default ones but not in pi into system we have system buttons we have advanced reboot menu let's check how it looks and as you can see the icons are really great it's in the accent color we have screenshot toggle too so you can like easily click a screenshot through here and it works fine then we have playback control volume rocker awake volume key answer disable navigation bars okay this is the option maybe disable the hardware navbar key so you can just use this 
and you can see hardware keys are uh, like that is a bit so yeah this is the option and now you can also enable navigation bar okay so you can like just go back here enable navigation bar go back if you like use navigation bar general tweaks oops buttons and disable the disable navigation bars and now we can see hardware keys are not working so yep then we have general tweaks swipe to screenshot and battery charging light so three finger screenshot like the me is working me devices have like it's an miui also guys into display we have this uh, dot os system theming so you can see ui style and also you can allow system themes and fonts alongside subsystem but that may cause something to force stop or something to force close so system ui also it like it's the main thing so yeah you can just like then we have quick setting tile style this is the very faded one this is the one which i'm using this is the oreo one this is the like faded and shit this is the teardrop squircle this is square maybe and this is the normal uh, square one and yeah some rounded and all that shit then we have dashboard category dashboard conditions and suggestions so you can just enable or disable them like if you don't like them then disable it now guys let's take a look at the camera and as you can see the camera is working fine so yeah uh quick pictures and also shoots videos so camera is working fully and this is what the jason camera can do so don't expect to put samsung camera inside this because this is usb wrong guys so also guys some samsung stuff is not working here like the or you can see in nfc which is the hardware feature also i guess live display works so let's check okay this so we have night light in here and night light works guys that's really awesome so night light works and if you have digital well being i guess yep we have digital well being and we have wind down which is the gray scale mode okay skip this oops gray scale as you can see if you enable the gray scale mode uh, nothing happens guys i don't know okay start and Oh. I don't know but there may be an option for grayscale so let's just okay this is the option okay just disable wind down guys and let's directly check the grayscale uh yeah it works like of course the live display works and this not then yeah everything works fine so the current bugs are uh, hardware composer of course it won't work like it has started working on s9 the developer developer has fixed hardware composer like even without samsung it, so that's great voltage is not working this is not a bug please guys samsung doesn't support samsung doesn't support voltage on aosp roms because samsung is closed source and there is no modern source available to get voltage on your device and also one more bug i guess is uh, mm, which nfc nfc is one more bug and there may be some ups and downs about this rom but always usb roms are like really smooth for experience but yeah if you like uh, touch with and just go back to refined oreo or, or refined pi and you'll be re really better so if you guys like this video press the button already and now we will just skip to the installation so let's power off your device first or you can just directly enter into the recovery now after your device is off just press the volume of home and big speed button set volume up home and power button not the big speed one i got s certified i guess samsung and i'm using the shrp recovery guys so don't just worry tdrp recovery will also work and if you just want to install this recovery you have the link here in the description and the password for this recovery is always shrp and this recovery also guys looks good so yeah and it supports rom flashing Let's go to wipe. Advanced wipe is here. Like you do in TLRP, it's the same thing. So you have to wipe these of the partitions, and same in TLRP. Just wipe them. Done. Now to flash, and you have to uh, okay. In done storage, you have to flash the dot to a zip. Add the uh, open G apps. Add the camera and prop fix. Add the oxygen OS kernel. So I have to flash these four of these uh, stuff stuff, and you can see 
just confirm flash so it's flashing now so uh, let me just uh, uh, skip this part because it will be flashing to two or more apps. Okay guys as you can see it's flashing the last zip now which is the oxygen kernel which obviously really important to flash to boot your device and you can see it says rebooting in two seconds so guys all of the zips has been flashed let's check so as you can see the dot was boot animation has came and finally the device is booting so guys it will just boot in some like seconds or a minute and then you'll be able to install like all of your apps and then go for it and yep that's it uh, how to install dot os on your galaxy 2016 with a quick review so if you guys like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button here is the subscribe button you can subscribe it and for more videos on the Jason 2016 subscribe to my channel like i told you like two three times so please do subscribe guys please do subscribe also guys follow me on instagram for some exclusive stuff i post there sometimes and like i am going to do it now every day so i'll just post something every day about something coming on the channel soon so yeah please stay subscribed and also stay tuned for some no more of stuff for our jason 2016 so bye 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 guys